Okay, this is not a head-to-head -head direct comparison video essay analysis by me. This is not me comparing Cider and Valeno and deciding who's better, who's worse, who's more valuable, etc. This is a video talking quite literally about Cider versus Valeno because... This is actually a matchup we saw a few days ago in the SHL. It actually happened yesterday. I'm recording this video on the night of November 10th, Tuesday, and this matchup actually happened earlier today before lunchtime. So, yeah, we had ourselves a Rogla BK versus Malmo Redhawks SHL game where we did see Joe Valeno and Moritz Sider suit up against each other. So I thought it would be funny to just go over some of the highlights. There was this very good Twitter thread over here posted by a user named Ice Hockey G. His username is Ice Hockey Gifts, but the at is Ice Hockey G. And he posted a whole bunch of video clips of this game, specifically talking about Valeno and Cider. So I'll leave a link in the description. It's the first link over there. Actually, it's the second one because we have our jersey sponsor as well. Go buy some jerseys, by the way. Hockey season is starting up and you're probably going to need some jerseys, right? So use the first link in the description for that. But the second link is going to be this video thread. I can't actually post any of that footage on here on this video video because it is copyrighted material, so you're going to have to do your own due diligence, check it out, and the link is in the description. So, we had ourselves what was a nice little interaction at first, because quite early into the game, we did see Joe Valeno chip the puck into the zone, and he actually kind of got shoved off of the path a little bit by Moritz Sider, who kind of stepped in front of him, and the caption over here in the video says that Moritz Sider says hello to his potential future teammate in Joe Valeno. I loved it. Valeno had some good highlights himself. He was working the power play a little bit later into the game. They didn't end up scoring, but he did have some very good showcases on this shift. He brought the puck in himself, rung it around, got a few give-and-go plays from his other D-men and the other players on the ice. Eventually, he got himself a cross-crease pass. He sent it over, shot on goal, rebound, it was loose, and then the other guy in front was not able to bury it for some reason because it was saved by the goaltender's stick lying flat down on the ice. That was a very good potential scoring chance for the Malmo Redhawks. Valeno could have gotten an assist, but it didn't end up happening. Next up, though, on the highlight package, we had ourselves some Moritz Sider stuff because this guy was playing some very strong hockey, holding the blue line, sending the puck back in, doing his thing, roving around there, and being solid. When the play gets reversed, though, and it's back in his own zone, he does the right thing. He knows where to be. He goes to the areas where other people are not. And overall, you can just see the confidence, the mentality behind this guy. He is so, so positionally sound and where he needs to be as a defender in his own zone. He's a very good player. And he displayed so much of that last year in Grand Rapids that it's just kind of natural, you know, that it's coming out here in the Swedish Hockey League. We also had a few dipsy doodles, some Joe Valeno dangles that he used to break into the zone. That was very nice to see. And obviously, you know, the confidence. He loves seeing the puck skills for a guy who was an exceptional status player in the QMJHL, the first ever in the QMJHL. But when it comes to the important stuff, you know, what exactly do people care about when they watch hockey? They care about goals. Who cares about dangles if you don't put the puck in the net? We had ourselves the first goal of the game scored in the second period. It was scored by Oli Palola, and it was assisted by Moritz Sider. Sider had a few touches on the power play goal. He was manning the top of the umbrella as well as the right point. Did some nice plays, got it off under pressure very nicely, and then eventually he did get the pass once more, sent it over to the left side guy who then took a shot and then scored a goal. It was under review, but then eventually it was counted. Moritz Sider gets himself another point here. He's up to a total of six points in six SHL games. My gosh, he is legitimately a point per game defenseman in the SHL. What more could you ask for from our six foot four right handed defenseman, sixth overall pick at 29? Towards the middle part of the game, though, this is kind of where things get fishy because it's noted here in the video footage that Malmo just kind of got outplayed from that point onwards. It was kind of a one-sided matchup for the most part, with the exception of a few guys on the Red Hawks, Joe Valeno being one of them who actually does some pretty good things himself. He's trying things. He is going out there trying to put the team on his back because the Malmo Red Hawks just are not really playing all too well. Eventually, the clips and the video footage just kind of goes over the same kind of stuff. Sider is playing really strong, Valeno is playing very confidently, he's doing a lot of things, and he's actually doing pretty well. But at the end of the day, this game between the Sider 
Rogla BK hockey team and the Valeno Malmo Redhawks ends up in a 2 0 Rogla BK win. Malmo gets shut out, Joe Valeno is left out there off the score sheet, and his SHL point total remains at three points in eight games played. Now, on paper, you don't like to see that. He's a minus five, he's a guy who hasn't really been producing with the Redhawks, but at the end of the day, Take a look at the SHL standings, man. If we go over here, we take a look. Rogla is second, so Cider's playing on a good team. Taking a look at where the Malmo Redhawks are, well, they're dead last. So, yeah, there certainly is some leeway here, I guess you could say, between Joe Valeno not producing all too well and him playing on the worst team in the league, but... You know, he is doing himself some favors, he is doing some pretty nice things out there, it's just the teammates around him are not really helping him out in the slightest. So, taking a look at where exactly things stand on now, we have ourselves what is a Moritz Sider who is a point per game. Honestly, if he plays the way that he has been playing in this six game stint for the rest of the SHL season that he is there for, I see no reason to send Moritz Sider back to Grand Rapids. This guy needs to be given an opportunity to play at the highest level in the world and to show himself off as somebody who can compete. Because he was so good last year and he's so good this year that all the boxes that you want to be checked off are being checked off. Defensive positioning, ability to get points, right place, right time, overall offensive decision making. This guy is just doing doing it all. And at the end of the day, you know, what you're not getting here is a lethal Quinn Hughes, Kale McCarr, extremely dynamic offensive assassin kind of player. That's not what Sider is, man. This is a big guy who knows what to do. He plays hockey the right way. He played hockey in a very defensive way back when he was drafted because they didn't allow him to be offensive. But that offensive side is just coming naturally because all the stuff that he does in his own zone and in the neutral zone when it comes to breaking pucks out, cutting off passes passing lanes from the opposing team and sending them the other way, they just lead the goals. He does the right thing, he's showing himself off that he's capable of doing that consistently at the SHL level, and now it's just, you know, a matter of time, I guess, before he makes the NHL and he makes an impact there. As for Joe Valeno, though, I do think there still is a pretty nice middle six caliber center ceiling with Valeno and his old ability, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing what he can do once Grand Rapids comes back or once the NHL comes back or whatever. I don't think he's actually going to start in the NHL, but I think for Joe Valeno, there still is an opportunity for him to go over to Grand Rapids, take over that team, and just be the guy before making his way over to Detroit. We know how Detroit historically... And I say this historically because it normally has been the pattern over the past, let's say, decade and a half, pretty much. The Red Wings like allowing their guys mustering up and... What's that word? I'm looking for a specific word. Starts with an M. Marinating. Yes, marinating in what is either their minor leagues or their college leagues or whatever, or just the AHL in general before being given an opportunity to play in the NHL full send. That's kind of what they did with Larkin. They did that with a few other guys as well. But, you know, for Joe Valeno, I don't really expect him to break that mold. Besides, there's a lot more that he is able to do when he plays over there in the AHL. Because I think just assessing this body of work of him in the SHL with the Malmo Red Hawks, I don't know how good it would be to just go off of this and say, okay, the guy's got three points in eight games, bust. Nah, man, he's not doing anything. You gotta take into context, man, what exactly is going around with that league, because Malmo is literally the worst team there. So, I honestly wouldn't be too upset if Valeno didn't score any more points. He doesn't really get on the score sheet all too much because at the end of the day, the clips show themselves off. This guy's playing well. He's bringing the puck in and transition pretty well. He's controlling the puck in offensive zone entries. He's doing a pretty good job dangling past guys once in a while. It's just the teammates that he plays for, man. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. So for Joe Valeno, I'm still pretty optimistic about. For Moritz Sider, I am very optimistic about, and we're going to continue seeing how exactly that goes as his season goes on. If Joe Valeno comes out here with like a hat trick or something in the next game, then we're going to talk about that for sure. But at the end of the day, we still have some very good stuff to go over when it comes to Red Wings prospects, and that's what we've been discussing here on this channel. So talk to me in the comments what you think about Moritz Sider and the Rogla BK edging out the Malmo Redhawks. At the end of the day, you should be expecting that result because Roglo is one of the best teams in the league. Malmo is last. So a 2-0 shutout, not the most surprising thing in the world if you do ask me, but there is still a whole bunch of stuff to look forward to when it comes to these prospects. Moritz Sider's production being one of them. Joe Valeno's overall extended leadership on a bad team being another. So talk to me in the comments what you think about these two prospects in the Red Wings. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.